Hello, I'm Gwen Young, Director of the Global Women's Leadership Initiative and the Women in Public Service Project at the Wilson Center. You're watching Women on the Move, stories of women on the move, what motivates them, how they got to where they are, and how they're going to change the world. Today we're hearing from Irina Bokova, the Director General of UNESCO. Well, I think uh, in, uh, in, every, uh, in every life uh, there are some, um, some important moments. Um, I think uh, um, various, uh, uh, in terms of uh, me being a woman and uh, uh, having uh, higher ambitions of uh, making a professional career, uh, yes, they were, uh, and they were quite, quite substantial. I was, um, I'm coming from, uh, from Bulgaria, I'm coming uh, from uh, behind the, the uh, Berlin Wall, as we said in those times, which uh, um, happily already does not exist and uh, in Europe is uh, reunited. Um, but at those times, uh, there was a lot of stereotyping about women. Uh, uh, there was a lot of uh, barriers in terms of uh, uh, making a career in, uh, in diplomacy or in international affairs. Uh, and I think uh, the change that came uh, 25, 26 years ago uh, already was also kind of a uh, revolution, a liberation of women's potential. Uh, we have uh, nowadays uh, women uh, in uh, business, so we have women in uh, in political life. Uh, I think it was a extraordinary chance for all of us uh, from the East uh, uh, to liberate our potential and to be everything that we want to be. Uh, and uh, from that point of view, uh, I think I'm from the happy generation of, um, of women uh, from, the, uh, from Eastern Europe, uh, from the other side, uh, that could not only work for the uh, reunification, for the democracy, uh, in our countries uh, for joining European Union, NATO, and be part of the, uh, I would say, of the democratic uh, free world, but also to achieve this uh, gender equality that we want. It is not that we have done everything. It is not that we are yet there. But I think in many cases we are even more advanced uh, compared to some other countries. I think it is an extremely important question for every, uh, every woman uh, nowadays, and uh, I would say maybe it will be uh, an eternal question. Uh, I think uh, very important is the burden sharing. We know from all different uh, studies, uh, uh, and we at UNESCO, because I'm Director General of UNESCO, and we have gender equality as our uh, cross-cutting priority in all the programs, in education, women in sciences, uh, uh, women in culture, uh, ICTs and women, everything uh, that is uh, linked to, uh, to gender equality. We have seen from many studies that uh, burden sharing uh, in the family is one of the most important prerequisites uh, for a woman uh, to pursue her uh, professional career. My mother, I think, um, uh, that was born in the 20s, uh, she just uh, uh, had her anniversary 90 years. Um, uh, it was a typical of her generation. Um, she uh, just graduated uh, a primary education. She couldn't continue. She dropped out. Um, then it was only after the war that uh, already married with two children. She went into the evening classes. Uh, then she enrolled in university. She had the support of, uh, of my father, and she became a medical doctor and then a scientist, a researcher. In fact, my, uh, my early recollection is me studying and my mother also. So we were doing uh, jointly our, um, our home, home works. Uh, this has been really an example of perseverance and of, I would say, trust for learning and for education. I think uh, conviction. I think uh, uh, the um, idea that um, I should not give up, uh, that um, I have to continue, uh, the idea that uh, uh, I have to do something in order to change the world for the better. Uh, it may be, it sounds very pathetic, but I would say it's uh, sometimes small things uh, can, uh, can make a difference. And also, I believe the idea that uh, I should help other women, that uh, particularly when I'm in this position, I have a, a, a very strong responsibility also towards the others. And uh, this responsibility is something that is keeping me, uh, whether um, I go and I meet with uh, young girls in schools or young scientists or uh, uh, any place, but that I have a responsibility towards other women, and particularly young women. All the advice uh, that I give them uh, is once again uh, not to give up. Uh, the advice is uh, just to continue, uh, that uh, they can be anything, uh, that they may fail and they should continue again. I think this is something that keeps women uh, back uh, because we are afraid of failure. 
they have to uh, to be everything they want. They can do it. And they have to believe them in in themselves first and foremost, and uh, just to uh, to have the stamina and the will to continue. I think it is important uh, because we need uh, speaking about uh, women um, in different places, in business, in politics, in government. Uh, uh, we need a critical mass of women in these positions. We need really uh, women uh, to be uh, part of. Uh, part of our life, women to be part of the solutions, part of the, uh, uh, part of the decisions. Uh, uh, and I can give you my, uh, my perspective. Uh, when I came, uh, we had um, almost 20, 23, 25 percent uh, women in, uh, in high positions. When I say high, I mean director and up uh, level. Uh, now we are 44 and my ambition is to, uh, to make it 50 percent. I, I make a particular effort to bring women uh, to uh, women to take positions. I think it is important because then uh, we change uh, not just stereotypes, uh, but sometimes we change the culture, uh, we change the perception of a certain job, uh, we change perception of, I would say, uh, two uh, important uh, qualities uh, that uh, very often I hear when um, I appointed women in, uh, in leadership position. These two are uh, strengths, Often they say, oh, but is she strong enough uh, to take up a position? And the second is competent. <laughs> Very often, these are not questions that are uh, put in front of men candidates uh, for certain position. And when I, and I see it already, when we have women, uh, uh, even sometimes in uh, meetings of uh, senior management staff and others, uh, I think this changes the perception of what women in leadership can do. And we need this critical mass of women. As I say, women, we may fail, but we should continue equally like men.